In this video, we'll use a 1 horsepower WEG CFW drive to control a motor from a single phase 120 volt supply. These are the parameters we're going to set and the values we're going to use in this demo. Let's quickly walk through setting these just so you can get a feel for the flow of entering parameters. Now before doing anything, let's reset the drive to factory default so if you're following along, we're both starting at the exact same place. Press the P button to get to the parameters and scroll to parameter 204. Hit P again so we can change the parameter to a 5 which resets the drive's parameters to factory default for 60 Hz and press P to accept that. Scroll to parameter 401 which is the motor's rated current. Ours is 3.2 amps so we enter that and press P to accept it. Parameter 402 is the motor's rated speed. We'll modify that to 1725 and hit P to accept that. Parameter 403 is the motor's max frequency. 60 Hz is what we want so hit P to accept that. Scroll to the acceleration parameter which is 100, hit P to change it, I'll change it to 2 seconds and hit P to accept that value. Scroll to the next parameter on our list, hit P and change the deceleration to 2 seconds and hit P to accept that. Scroll to the min speed parameter, let's make that 4 Hz, hit P to accept that. Scroll to the max speed parameter, hit P. Let's change our max speed to 30 Hz, hit P to accept that. Scroll to parameter 2 which shows us the drive's output frequency and press the run stop key to start the motor. And sure enough, the drive ramps the motor to the 4 Hz minimum output frequency we just entered. Perfect. If I increase the output frequency, then the motor responds accordingly. Of course, since we set the max frequency to 30 Hz, the drive won't let us go past that exactly what we expect. To view the motor's current, press P to exit the frequency parameter, go to parameter 3 which is the motor's current and press P to see the value. This bar graph down here is also showing the motor current because the bar graph parameter which is parameter 207 says display parameter 3, the motor's current. Parameter 223 controls forward and reverse. Stop the motor, change it to a 1, hit P to accept that and now when we run the motor, it rotates in the opposite direction and the rotation indicator up here also changes direction. Well, that's all there is to configuring this WEG variable frequency drive. Here's a couple more things that will help you get up and running quickly. In the box that the drive comes in, there's a little plastic bag that has a quick installation guide in it. Hang on to that because it has all kinds of information to help you get up and running quickly. Mechanical dimensions a drive quick reference table showing all the drives in the family at a glance, wiring information, I.O. pinout and usage, compliance information, everything you need to know about the keypad and display, the sequence for entering parameters. And this is literally the first several steps of the example we just did in this video. I just took that and modified a couple numbers and added a few more parameters. There's technical specs, a list of the most common parameters, I love that, and a list of the most common fault and alarm codes etc. So definitely grab that little plastic bag and put it someplace safe. If you do lose it, then you can always download it and all of the user manuals for free from the AutomationDirect.com website. You can also enter parameters, program the built-in soft PLC and even monitor the drive's performance using the WEG programming software which you can also download for free from the AutomationDirect.com website. Well that ought to be enough to get you going. but. We just scratched the surface of all the things you can do with this drive in this video. So, click here to learn more about the WEG variable frequency drive. Click here to learn about all of AutomationDirect's free support options and click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll be notified when we publish new videos.